Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy, and today's lesson we're doing the classic sax solo that's on your latest trick. So we're going to be doing this solo in three different ways. I have it broken down for beginners, intermediate and advanced level players. You can get yourself the free PDF transcription for the beginner version at onlinesaxacademy.com and the link to that is down below. The intermediate and advanced PDFs along with the performance and backing tracks can also be found in the premium library at onlinesaxacademy.com. Okay so for the beginner version I've taken the speed down quite a lot and I've also moved it into a much easier key. So for alto saxophones you're in the key of A minor and for tenor saxophones you're in the key of D minor. I'd recommend practicing the natural minor scale and the harmonic minor scale as some of those sharpened sevenths appear in the melody as well. Okay, now the intermediate version is a little bit faster. We're staying in this easier key, but now I'm including some of the decorations that are on the original. Namely, there's a couple of grace notes and there's also some chromatic passing notes as well. Some of those rhythms do look a bit complicated, but the best thing to do is just to listen to it a few times and you'll get the feel of how it goes. All right, so here's the intermediate version. Okay, so now it's time for the advanced version and we're going to be playing it in the original key, meaning you can play along with the original as well. For alto saxophones that puts us into B flat minor and you can see there's quite a lot of flats there to get used to. And for tenor saxophones you're in E flat minor. Again I'd recommend having a go at both the natural minor and the harmonic minor scales. Okay, so here's the advanced version. <laughs> This saxophone solo was originally recorded by the great Michael Brecker. If you haven't heard Michael Brecker before, I really recommend checking out some of his stuff. He's one of the most iconic sax players to ever live and really helped define a generation of sax players. So I'd really recommend learning this song from memory and that can help to open up your ears and give a better connection between what you're hearing and what you're playing rather than just relying on the sheet music. If you'd like more help with playing things by ear, I have a course that I'm building at onlinesaxacademy.com. Each week I'm releasing a new lesson and in that course I'm teaching you to develop your ears so that you'll be able to play what you hear onto the saxophone without the need for sheet music all the time. Okay that's it for this week guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future lessons. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this one and if there's any tunes you'd like me to cover and I'll see you all next week.